Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm in the backyard of Drew Cooper. Drew Cooper is the world's best driver of the golf ball amateur. World's best amateur driver of the golf ball. Um, I've, I've given you that crown. Yeah, I've, right. I've, I've claimed that. And if anybody wants to take Drew's crown as world's best driver of the golf ball, that's not a professional or it never has been a professional, it can't be reinstated either, um, come and take it. It's, it's, it's here for the taking. Anybody can come on the channel and uh, take the crown. Anyway, so uh, Drew, we were talking about your ball speed and everything that you do in, in the golf swing. And you uh, get, uh, we just did it here, uh, a personal best for, for Drew, uh, for, for his backyard setup was uh, 204, 203.7? Six, yeah, something like that, seven, six. Yeah, 203.7, yeah. Uh, he, he had here 203.7 uh, miles per hour ball speed. His personal best was uh, 204.5 well, in, in it, Long it Beach, right? Well, it readjusted to 203.6, so it might be best. It yeah. might be best here. Oh, okay. What do you mean? So it did the same thing where it said 204 at Dana's. Oh, okay. And then it adjusted like a uh, second later. 203.5. Oh, R said 204, and then it yeah, so Okay, so thing. so basically, we, we today we we got records. We got records, and we're we're gonna we're gonna clearly smash that. So there will be there will be no doubt that uh, uh, Drew totally smashed the record with me. But now we're getting into my swing because this is, I think, uh, uh, one of the one of the things that is the reason the channel's uh, like uh, has any popularity at all is because you know through me people can learn some stuff so we're talking about how you move and how i move so this is one of the things i wanted to do in this video uh just that we can see a athletically how we move so i'm gonna throw we're gonna have a competition and the competition is how far you can throw it over the net return with this 15 pound weight okay, okay. and we're gonna walk it out and it's gonna be carry distance so you can stand back there drew I was gonna say. and you're gonna you're gonna uh, get a golf ball and you're gonna place it where my, where my carry is, okay? Right. Whoa. Whoop. That's all right. So I'm gonna take this 15 pound medicine ball, which is not really the weight golf ball. <laughs> Look at Drew standing all the way in the vineyard. Like I'm gonna throw it there. Okay. Because uh, I know how far I throw this thing and I, I cannot throw it more than, okay, so I'm gonna throw it over the net return and I'm gonna go deep. Okay, we got a, a clear dent there. All right, Drew's got his his ball set out there, and I'm going to stand back here. All right, for the Olympics, Drew, I can see where he's going. See how far you can throw this thing. Wow. All right, so we're, I'm just going to take my camera. So I will say Drew beat me. He won. And it wasn't a close victory. It was a it was a clear victory. So let's see. The entire st there's my ball, and walk one, two, three steps is Drew's ball. And if we put that into a percentage wise, and we got one, two, three, eight. So Drew threw it eleven, and I threw it eight. So percentage wise, that's kind of pretty similar. So our difference in club head speed. But if I look back, Drew, at those two slow motion swings that we have in our face on camera about how you for pr produce power and how I produce power, what are the differences we're gonna see in that? And then how can that translate to golf? Yeah, so, so one, I think, and then you posted the video where you kind of sank way down mm -hmm. and, and sort of just stood up and threw it with your arms. Yeah. Whereas it, it looks to me like I sort of coil into my back leg and then, and then my whole body mass shifts left and then I throw. Yeah. So there's a coil, move, everything's lagged behind, if you will. Uh -huh. And then I vertical into rotation. So there's like a kinetic sequence that's very different. Yeah. So I would do the same thing with your golf swing. Yeah. One of the things I think you kind of get into the habit of doing now is, yeah, I think you're worried about sucking the club inside. Uh, yeah. So you end up kind of just picking it up. Uh -huh. And instead, like I, I would want you to, so if I'm gonna throw this back, I'm, it's 15 pounds, so I'm not just gonna- We can go this way. I'm yeah. not just gonna do that. Uh -huh. I'm gonna rock it forward, my body's gonna go right, and I'm gonna throw it. So does that make sense? So it's gonna go forward, body. Yeah. 
So and that's the same thing I'd want to do with a golf club, is it's going to go body forward, body back, club. Just, in, just in the backswing part? Yeah. Okay. And so Just to back. get that part, portion right. right. And yeah, because right now I'm kind of like stag. almost A-swing style, setting, turning, hitting. Yeah. Right. So there's no like a... Dynamic. Right. And mm. the, the, the thing that's important about that is when you have a dynamic movement of center of mass, you get a braking force on your back leg. Okay. When you brake, you get a higher starting push. Okay. That's like uh, Sasha McKenzie. Yep. He talks about hand uh, grip applied to the handle across the hand path. Yeah. So the faster I swing the club back to stop the club, I've built up force. Yeah. So now the, the entire downswing, I've got more average force applied it's, to the club. Yeah. So it's more speed. So teach me how to throw this ball the correct way before I can, to throw it back to you the right way before I can even. Right. So, okay. So just kind of, first of all, get the ball rocking left and right and as the ball goes left your body should be going right right so you're kind of in opposition and it's just nice and subtle you're not trying to like shake it right so it's kind of big and flowy so the ball goes left your body goes right ball goes right body mm -hmm. goes left there you go and then all of a sudden when the ball's in front of you your body should be coming towards me and you're just going to huck it towards me like this you have a rock your your body weight I'm not doing it right. No, no. So no, because I'm going ball together. Yeah, but, exactly. And yeah, it's not in opposition. So what I want is. Oh, okay. So let me try for for at first to. Um... Yeah, just get into a rhythm a bit. You guys oh, gonna take a hold set. on a second. What do you? <laughs> this is so, so here, funny. Here. If you stand face on, check it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's sort of like the Kyle Berkshire. Yeah. Man, you make that look natural. And it's like it's like do it, do it again. It's like the ball's pulling on me. So, so that step, way, step then go. Step then. Okay, I got you. I'm gonna post on my right side, and it's mm -hmm. gonna throw the ball. Okay, so my weight is leading the ball. Exactly. That's that's I can understand that more. And then all of a sudden, that right leg will hit. Boom. Like that. Exactly. Okay. And so that force keeps your body centered, uh -huh. and then you land on your left leg and turn. Let's try that again. To me, that's how you're going to get the club so started. So step, go, step, go. So force before motion, as Scott said. Yeah, absolutely. Here it comes. There you go. Like that, yeah. 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 So then it just floats. Okay. So the club head should then float down the line a bit instead of trying so hard to pick it up on line. Okay. Force and then motion. Right. Right. And so and your goal would be by the time you're about here, yeah. you're pushing yourself back the other way. Back that way? Yeah. Yep. And that's how you stop yourself from sliding all over the place. Force. That's sort of like you see Kyle Berkshire do. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's the same. His monster walk. Yep. And it doesn't have to be that exaggerated, but... Yeah. Yeah. I like the handle went forward too. There you go. Just kind of walking out. All right, new record for back here for me. 161. And the uh. other option you would have is to actually like let the club head kind of go. What out. do you mean? Like let the club heads fling. Instead of just kind of leaving it, you actually kind of go. You mean like put it? Yeah, there. Yep. Like that. Yeah. It's just another way to get your motion. Like that. Yep. Yeah, that was thin, but but Excellent. now another new one. And it's three one sixty two faster club. One sixty three. Right, so oh yeah. One hundred eight to one eleven. Yeah. See, this grip is so bald. I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna lose the club. Okay. All right, I'm gonna try a golf course swing here. So I'm going step. Yep. Oh, so I can go kind of motion forward, motion back. Oh, yeah, that would get, that's kind of a good idea. Yeah. 163. And now you're cruising. 111. 111. I'm cruising at 111. I kind of like that where I can 
I'm putting like Camillo Vijega style back here and then you go motion club mo that way I, I can get the idea of the pattern yeah like that yep so the ball would be dun 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 but stay centered yeah so I, I keep saying drive your right or your trail leg hard into the ground by like what p2 if you know if you're yeah familiar. Yeah, that'll stop you from swaying off the ball. There you go. All right. 112. 112, 164 ball. Okay, so step in here. This is a question that I have that when, um, whenever somebody sends me their swing for like in Be Better Golf, and, and like people have been like asking me their advice for their swing. They're always like, I'm always, always, always seeing them go do this kind of thing. Yeah. So like I see that so often. And so I'm always giving them that drill where I'm like, okay, put something here and then like gap away from it. Yeah. But you're, you're talking about it differently. You're not talking about it in terms of, in terms of like, Hey, avoid this thing or motion or whatever no. you're talking about it in terms of pressure. So yeah. if somebody has this kind of motion like this, yeah, two things. What do you do to fix that? Yeah. Well, so two things. If they if they're set up too much in anterior tilt, yeah, you'll you'll kind of get a little blocked, and you might just not be able to get out of it until you get yourself a bit more neutral at setup. Oh, okay. So some things people so may like need tuck to, your tail a little bit or feel that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the other thing is I don't worry about it moving. Mm -hmm. It's just you don't want it to continue moving and stay out there. So what I say is move and then take this leg and push you're going to push your foot which is going to drive the hip back oh so track. let it move move but then push it yeah, it'll, yeah. and then it'll gap itself mm -hmm. and you'll have motion to build a little more speed yeah because that push will recenter you mm -hmm. yeah so i think it's a bit more natural and a bit more powerful yeah i saw it like motion push and then you go the other way right all right, so now I'm going to try to put up a hot number here. Here we go. Thanks for watching, guys. You're going to want to see the next video because Drew starts to explain really what's happening under the hood of his golf swing and how the positions that we see are not from trying to hit those positions, but the forces that are kind of underneath the hood. It's really interesting stuff, and it made a lot of things make sense to me that I hadn't understood before. You're going to want to see that, so click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Bye.